In the Triple Crown, the thrill of victory is often just a prelude for the agony of defeat. Even some of the sport's greatest horses have come up short. One of those was Spectacular Bid. In 1979, young jockey Ronnie Franklin drove him into a speed duel with an 85 to one long shot. Spectacular Bid faded to third in the Belmont. In 1981, brash trainer Johnny Campo predicted victory for Pleasant Colony. But in the Belmont, Pleasant Colony went off form and his trademark rally was only good for third place. Ali Sheba would eventually win $6.6 .6 million at the time, the most of any horse in North American history. But in the 87 Belmont, Ali Sheba came out flat. Bet twice, won by 14 lengths. Two years later, the same scenario. Sunday Silence twice defeated Easy Goer, narrowly prevailing in a dramatic Preakness duel. But the Belmont was dramatically different. And it's Easy Goer with Pat Day winning the Belmont and denying Sunday Silence the Triple Crown. Silver Charms battles with Free House were epic stuff in 1997. And in the Belmont, the two Greys were slugging it out again until fate intervened. Silver Charm has lost the lead and touch gold will deny him the crown. Silver Charms' silver-haired trainer was Bob Baffert, who the next year returned with another chance at a sweep. Real Quiet was ridden by Big Brown's jockey, Ket DeSormo, and he looked home free in the Belmont stretch. Organizing knows the photo went to Victory Gallop, written by Gary Stevens, who had ridden Silver Charm the year before. The 1999 Belmont would be the last race of Charismatic's career. Charismatic battled gallantly to run third in the Belmont, then pulled up with a leg fracture. Amazingly, Bob Baffert was back with another shot in 2002, but War Emblem stumbled to his nose at the start. War Emblem would finish eighth. The next year, Funny Side's colorful owners rolled into town in their trademark yellow school bus. But on this stormy day in the Empire State, the New York bred Funny Side was no match for Empire Maker. And the most recent Triple Crown heartbreak, four years ago. Can Smarty Jones hold on? Here comes Birdstone! Birdstone surges past! That makes 10 Derby Preakness winners since 1978 and all came up shy of Triple Crown immortality in the Belmont Stakes.